Uh, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to define the section properties. Uh, first, I'm going to define the columns and uh, the beam section. So, to do that, go to define, then go to section properties, then click frame sections. Uh, now, for simplification of our project, uh, I am going to define only six different types of columns. And the columns dimension will be according to this table. So to do that, click on add new property. From section shape type, you can choose any shape you want. In our case, I'm going to choose the rectangle section. In the property name, change its name to RC70 by 100. And for the material, choose C30 which we have defined before. Now, go to the depth and set it 1000 mm and for width, set it 700 mm. Now, click here to modify the section type. Here, you can define the section type as a column or beam. So, I'm going to choose it as a column in check design panel, choosing the first option means that ETABS will only check if the column is safe or not. But to do that, you have also to set all of these parameters. Uh, the second option means that ETABS will design the column. So in our case, I'm going to choose the second option. Now I need to define the rebar material. So select T400 for the main bar and select H240 for the ties then click OK and now we have to change the probability modifier as we know after the earthquake or with long term of time cracks start to be developed in the structure elements so we need to reduce the stiffness of elements to take a crack section effect in the analysis So for columns, we need to change the value of moment of inertia about axis 2 and the axis 3 to 0.7. Uh, also for beams, we need to change the value of moment of inertia about the axis 2 and axis 3 to 0.35. And for the slab, we need to change the value of the moment of inertia to 0.25. So back again to ETABS and change the value of the moment of inertia about axis 2 and axis 3 to 0.7 now click OK OK here we can see the column section has been added with the same steps I am going to define the other columns now I have finished all columns so I am going to define the beam section. So click add copy of probability. Then set the name to be 30 by 90. And change its dimension to 300 millimeter and 900 millimeter for the depth. Now select the show river and choose beam option. Then click OK. We also need to change the probability modifier. So set the moment of inertia about axis 2 and axis 3 to 0.35. Also for beams, torsion can be neglected so you can set it to 0.01. Now click OK. OK. Now I'm going to define the slab section with 30 cm thickness. So to do that, go to define, then go to section properties, then click slab sections. Now click add new property, change its name to F30. For the material, choose C30. 
and set the thickness to 300 millimeters. Now we need to change its stiffness also. So click on the modify button. Now change all of this parameter to 0.25. Now click OK. Here we have our new slab section. With the same procedure, I am going to define three types of wall sections. So go to define, then go to section properties, then click wall sections. Now click add new property, name it to W35. Also, for the material, choose C30 and change the thickness to 350 mm. Now we need to change its stiffness also. So, click on the modify show bot and change all of these parameters to 0.7. Now we have our cookie. Okay, here we have our new wall section, so click add a copy of property, then name it W30, finally set the thickness to 300 millimeters, then click OK, select it again, then copy it. Name it W25. Finally, set the thickness to 250mm. Click OK. OK. Now, it is the end of our lesson. In the next lesson, we will going to learn how to prepare our AutoCAD DXF file. So, hang on for that.